Who's winning PGL? That's, uh, that's a tough question. SK have certainly made some absolutely epic comebacks in the past, but from 13-5 in a quarterfinals at a stage of this size, that would be legendary. SK are definitely one of the top three favorites. I think the clear top three right now are SK, Astralis, and FaZe. And now it's all or nothing. 10 rounds in a row for SK Gaming if they want to take this to overtime and keep their hopes alive here in the major. We could even end up in a situation where it seems like this trio of teams, one matchup always goes this way, one the other way, and it's just a continuous cycle where it just depends who gets who. I can't imagine what it must be like right now on the SK team. They know they're deep in the hole. There's almost no chance, and there's the flick coming out. Device taking one. They're definitely up there, but who knows? That's the fun part about competition. It's a two versus five to try and keep SK Gaming alive in this tournament or put Astralis right in the semi-final. And Cold Zero and Fallen trying to see if they can coordinate this. The grenades are coming in. There's 30 seconds, and they're boxed in. They can't even go back here. Fallen wants a peek from somebody, anybody. There's Device. He gets one. Still a two on four, and there's 20 seconds. Now Fallen is alone in a one versus four. He's going to get one more kill, but there's only 17 seconds. He can't get this bomb part down. Astralis will have done it. They're in the semi-finals. We are going to move into the semi-finals, and SK, they get to go on vacation back to Brazil empty-handed. They're legends, yes. Yeah, SK Gaming. No more. And Astralis making their way through to the semi-finals once again of a major tournament. Every time when we lose, is because the preparation is, was really bad. We don't talk about what will happen in the game. Uh, against Astralis, we know the game will be a hard game for us. It's a mental game. And we should prepare, but I think everyone on this major was more chilling than work. Well, it's a tough loss. There is a little bit of disappointment of how the match went. Even more because we feel like that we lost the match because I got corrected too much. We often don't try to focus the loss or winning on a single player, but they know I had a hard off game strategically and and helping, and they know that. I think it's a little bit of unluck as well. Of course, it's uh, it's credit to the preparation of the other players, but. The time is on Counter-Strike, sometimes it's unreal. One second later, you'll be able to do it. Uh, one inch to the right, you do it. So sometimes it doesn't happen your way. I try to do my best, and I know my team tried to do the best too. But lose this major hurt me really hard. You know, I'm very disappointed, but it's okay. We will hard more for the next one, and we'll be back more strong with the next season. My girlfriend was, maybe she was more pissed than me. She really wanted us to win the major and she was like, they're gonna now think that I am unlucky because you guys won't last three without me. Now I'm here, you lost. <laughs> I'm lucky. I was like, you won two major already. It's not our fault. You really can't change much. So when we lost the tournament, she can't really add some input in the game because she doesn't play it. I think they see the game a little bit different. Like they just wanna see who's winning, what's the score and who's killing who and what is the situation, but they can't give a really very good feedback on that. When something goes very wrong for someone, you just try to be with it and make me happy and try to forget about the loss. I saw Cold Zero Father. Uh, yesterday he was watching someone else's match. Like he opened the cell phone, they're winning. There's something like that. It was like, well, so he's enjoying watching it even if it's not his son playing. Yeah, today my father knows better than me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my father watched every game, uh, he always have discussion with me <laughs> about the game, but yeah, he learned a lot, so my father today is more expert than me. <coughs> After the loss, he was pretty mad, it's because when we lose and he watch, he knows what's happened and he knows what's going on. And when we lose, we say, oh, you guys doing wrong this, you guys doing wrong this. It's the same with a coach, you know? <laughs> but I cannot say anything because, yeah, it's my father. So that's, you know, 
Let's wait to hear you saying and it's okay. <laughs> So, where does your sort of story end? That's, that's actually a question I was even wondering myself, like, what do I want for the future? What do I want for the next months? And you really need to, to find some connection with the players you're playing with. You, you really need to have a good time being with them, because there's not too much else to conquer, in my opinion. When I started, I wanted to be playing with the best players. I did that, I was losing to them. And then after that, I, I want to beat them. And then I start beating them. So, what's next, right? I know that I won't be winning everything, because that makes no sense in every sport. But you really need something to, to make you move forward. And for me, it's having fun. It's not building a legacy. I think we already built a legacy. From, from where we started to where we are now, it's a magic history. I don't think many players will be able to do what we did in, forever in Counter-Strike. We live so much back home, our girlfriends, families, brothers, mom, dad, that if it's not to have fun, then what was the point, right? Oh man, he, he's my inspiration always, man. He's a, my inspiration, man. Phelps. Bora! <laughs> I want to win the next major. It, I think it's my achievement for the next season. I have a, probably a long future. I just try to, you know, stay with my team the top of the world. I think it's more important than be the top player in the world. I want to be a legend player, you know, the player who everyone will remember every time when they play the game. I want to look back to the summer as a, an awesome experience. We won three of the four tournaments. We don't ever know when we're going to be able to reproduce it. And we, of course, we think on the future, like, you're going to win more trophies, but winning three tournaments are always very huge. So it's something very difficult, we should be proud of. It's run to record this today's Phelps girlfriend birthday, and he told me before the match that he would kill 30 bombs for her, but he killed more than 30 bombs. He killed 36, 36, 36, 37, 37 bombs. So that's the best gift. I wish he was my boyfriend. Kappa. Let's go down here. Let's go down <laughs> Fallen. Fallen, he teach me too much. He's a good professor. He's a good teacher. Sorry. Cut this.